we've already discussed on a number of occasions the idea that sort of anxiety is not very good for a performance, this notion of being anxious. And anxiety is a little bit different to arousal. Arousal is like energizing or agitation or the idea of preparedness if it's used properly. Anxiety is about things such as worry and it's about things such as like um, sort of like losing physical control such as shaking for example. So we might generally say that anxiety on the whole can be a negative thing. There's a couple of theories that suggest that anxiety when it's cognitive Okay, so this would be things such as negative thinking, worry, uh, that sort of stuff, that negative anxiety should be kept to an absolute minimum, that it does not help our sporting performances, nor does it help us to make sort of good and positive health decisions. And some people argue that something like somatic anxiety, you know, that feeling of butterflies in the tummy or of kind of tightness around the shoulders or of <clears throat> something like, uh, you know, like breathing changing or heart rate going up, that some level of that is good. OK, not too much. We don't want it to be an up here, like a really high level, because then we can't sort of function. But a small level of anxiety is kind of good for us. So when I present to you these ideas of the differences between state and trait anxiety, I want you to remember that in general terms, we want to suppress and control cognitive anxiety. Let me actually write that in. We want to suppress and control cognitive anxiety. But with somatic or physical anxiety, we want to sort of permit small amounts of it we we don't want too much we just want to sort of permit small amounts of it which might actually help us activate and prepare for things like sporting performance or, or it might actually make us uh, help us make good lifestyle decisions so now let's get to the main nitty-gritty of this what is the difference between state and trait anxiety so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to treat you to trait anxiety okay the concept of trait anxiety and i hope that every single student is thinking i don't need to learn this because i know a trait is all about being stable and innate and predisposed and generalized and enduring and all that stuff and you young people who are brilliant at sports psychology you are absolutely correct so we need to note down concepts such as stability or stableness trait anxiety you would feel 